Bows and rage combat in Minecraft hasn't changed for a long time now. But what if we could do more with bows and arrows? And what if the fletching table finally had a freaking use? This and more will be done with Progressive Archery. Progressive Archery is a 120.2 fabric mod that adds a lot of new bows, arrows, items and ranged combat changes to Minecraft. A worthy target to aim at, so let's take a shot and see if we can hit the bullseye. New bows. There are a lot of new bows that this mod adds, like metal infused bows, horn bows, the long bow and even the tubular bow. Firstly, you can upgrade normal bows with the bow infusing smithing template. This valuable smithing template can be found in chests or as drops from some entities, like skeletons or pillagers. Replicating them is really easy though, you just need some planks. Once acquired, you can now upgrade any of the bows to higher tiers, going from wood all the way to netherite bows. Each upgraded tier is more durable and more accurate than the one before. And the time to fully draw the bow is also reduced. But normal bows are boring. How about some of the new variants? The horn bow is a stronger version of the normal bow. It bolsters a higher durability compared to vanilla bows and has faster projectiles. You will need two horns though to craft it. The crossbow, well, we all know that one, but you can upgrade it with the bow infusion smithing template as well. The upgraded version once again has higher durability as well as shoot their projectiles faster than bows. The tubular bow is a bow that fires kid arrows. Indeed, if you don't mind giving up both draw time and durability, you can have some of the fastest projectiles around. The tubular bow only takes kid arrows, which are pretty much just smaller arrows. And even though they are called kid arrows, don't give them to your children. And the tubular bow is easy to craft, including the kid arrows as well. The longbow is a large bow that has a longer draw time, worse accuracy, but the highest durability and one of the fastest projectiles. To craft it, you basically just make a long bow. To choose a proper bow, you need to test them out for yourself. See which one hits the target for you. And when you think about it, what is hitting the target? Exactly. Arrows. Let's take a look at the arrow variants. Arrow variants. As promised before, the fletching table finally has a function and that is to craft custom arrow variants. So for example, you can make different tips for your arrows, like these iron arrows, or if you can afford them, the diamond arrows. Different arrow variations increase damage significantly as they go up in tiers. So while they could be considered expensive, they might just be worth investing in. You should also invest in a quiver. This easily craftable storage item allows you to store multiple stacks of arrows to draw from when shooting your bow. It can even be used in the backslot of the trinkets mod, so it won't unnecessarily fill up your inventory space. And quite the opposite of unnecessary as well is the new villager type that has been added. The Archer. While the Archer doesn't have any trades, it will act as an additional protector in the village when the others are sleeping. They can even gain experience, upgrade their bows and have stronger shots. And you can even give them different bows. The Fletcher also has some additional new trades that were added. And if both the Fletcher and the Archer are high enough level, they will sometimes interact and upgrade the Archer's bow. There's a lot of small additions such as new ingredients to make string, changes to mobs and several others which are best discovered on your own. Exactly how you just discovered this video right here. Hope you hit the bullseye and watch it. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.